So guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today, well we're not actually installing it today, but I'm just unboxing quickly now the new downpipe I got from Toyo Sports. Um, I actually got this really cheap. I mean, a lot of people said there's no difference between the downpipes online. Um, so whether you get an AirTech one, which is like 200, 300 pound, or a MealTech or a Mongoose or anything like that, they're all made out of the same material and probably just get their badge or brand named, well, stamped onto it. But I picked this up for 80 quid brand new. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but there's a massive sale on right now on eBay where you get like 24 pound off and stuff like that. So the only thing I need right now is the gaskets, I think, and the bolts, which are like 21 pound or something like that. I'd probably be able to get them cheaper. And then just the actual downpipe bolts, which are like 38 quid. So there's no point skimping out on the price of that because they're like locking retainers and stuff. So I should quickly unbox this video for you and show you what it looks like. Alright, so it looks like it actually came with a gasket and some pipes to, I believe, fit the decap. Because you need to get actual locking nuts. This end of it. And I think you need a gasket as well. So if you can tell, I mean, they literally all look the same. Quite heavy, but nice. Toyo Sports brand there. But there it is. I see that would go nice with the decat, which I just picked up the other day, again on a discount. Uh, but obviously, guys, I'm not installing it today, so I shall skip. Obviously, this will be recorded one day. This might be the next part might be like a week or two later, just because I'm busy with work for the next few weeks. But I should try and get it installed as quick as possible. So down by bond, decat on. Um, I'm gonna be buying a, another Ford reset valve. Um, get that installed and then we can then go stage two. I'm not going RS clutch. I'm just gonna risk it. Um, if the clutch starts slipping, I'll drive it off booster a bit and then I'll just book myself in to get the RS clutch down. But I shall see you in the next clip. What's up guys? So Welcome back to another video. We are installing the Toy Sports downpipe today, which is here, along with the DCAT as well, both three inch, so our whole system will now be three inch. Um, I'm gonna jack the car up, take the scuttle panel off, um, put a w, bit of WD-40 all over the bolts, leave that to the rest for five, 10 minutes, warm the car up and then get it jacked up and then take off the old downpipe. So I'll show you how to do that now. So I'll just skip to the part where we're doing all that. So guys, we took off all the scuttle panel down here, if you can see, there's a, I'm not going to really see, but there's a small bolt down here, just spread a bit of WD-40 down there, we'll take that one off, and then jack up the car, and then get the three bolts underneath. That bolt that I just showed you holds the hanger for the actual downpipe here. Sasha, we we'll be doing that.
All right, guys, so the car's jacked up. I'm just gonna go under spray WD-40 on the old downpipe bars. I'll show you how to do that as well, and then take them off. All right, guys, so we're under the car. I'm gonna take the cap back off. So I've got more room to work with the downpipe, take the sensor out. And then your downpipes up here. I'll try and get a torch in a second to show you, but there's one bolt there, one on the other side, and one right up there, which sometimes is easy to get from the top, but obviously the engine's quite hot, so do be careful. And then you're just gonna pull this whole thing all the way out and replace it with the new one. Okay, so I should get a torch so it's a little bit easier to record. Right guys, so I've took the the cat off. As you can see, the cat's out. Just to give us that little bit more room. <laughs> now, your down pipe goes all the way up here. Some people take this off, I'm not going to, unless it becomes a problem to get these sort of hangers out. But your down pipe is all the way over here. So let me get the torch up there. So as you can see, you got one bolt there, one bolt there, and one bolt up there. Apparently the one up there is the worst one. But as you can see, I put a bit of WD-40 on there. Um, bolts don't look too rusted, to be honest, so hopefully I'm just be able to get like a 10mm spanner on there. See if it focuses. Get a 10mm spanner on there and take those out. And obviously then put it all the way through and come out of there. So like I said, once it's ready to take out, I shall try my best to record it, but it's not, not really anywhere I can really put my camera so that you can get a good view, so, so I shall try my best. Guys, I've removed the heat shield as well, just so I can get to the top bolt a little bit easier down there. It's just three bolts, two of them are spring compressed ones and one of them is just a standard one, and then that one I showed you at the start, so I've done a WD-40, so I'm going to start taking off the bolts now. Right guys, so I've got my downpipe bolts here. You want to use a spanner idea so you can get these two from under. So I've loosened a little bit already. It literally, mine came off fine. So, right, so I've loosened them already. Oh, let me move the torch. shall try and get a better angle for the one up there, the top one, so give me two seconds. So you need to get the other one from above. We used a ratchet, if you can see here. Uh, a little bit down. God, me onto it. One second. You're on it. There you go, guys, as you can see. Our bolts all came out quite loose, yours might not, but we put WD filter on the night before, let it rest for a bit, and then this morning let it warm up for about 5-10 minutes. Bit of WD-40, wait 5-10 minutes and then we go. And these look like they're all coming out quite easily, so... The jobs are good and I've heard people have horror stories where these all snap off and my mate I just had his threaded in and he had to go to a mechanic to get it out. Try and get it up here. Is it nice? Yeah, one sec. Yeah. You know, all up guys. Down pipe's falling down. I'm going to take the sensor out from you can see up there um, and I'll pull the downpipe out and then yeah 
So I should see you in a second. Alright guys, so sensor's unplugged. Now all we've got to do is take it out from here. So you just want to take these off and then pretty much pull it all the way back out through there. So I should try and get you the best view. So it might be a bit tricky. There you go, sort out. Shall I compare this one to the other one? Give me two seconds. So guys, that is the size difference in the pipes. Three inch, and I think this is two inch maybe, two and a half. Obviously much bigger. This one's all a bit worn out as well. Right? Yeah, now it's time to get it back in there. So just reverse the process of what I've just done pretty much. Also guys, you need to put a new gasket in as well, which goes in like that. So press that in and then you're all good. I'll leave a link to all of the stuff in the description, but that one was from Matt Lewis Motorsport. All right. Right guys, so the downpipe bolts are on, sensors in. Rubbers are on. Just gonna put the cat back in. Put that back in. Um, and then put the heat shield back on. So I took the heat shield off so I can get to that bolt up there. Just a little bit better. So take that off, put it back on. But yeah, so that's quite easy to be fair for my car. But I should cut to once it's on and I'll give you a little sound test. Alright guys, so the decat's now on, down pipes are on, just getting the uh, locking retainer that's done and then putting the front of the car back together and then like I said I'll give you the sound test to maybe take it for a spin, who knows. Alright guys, so everything's on, so I shall record, I'll see what it sounds like from here. Supercharged Honda Civic Type R. So, so I'll see you in the next one. Compared to the days when I was in the lab, only day one to me, all the rest trash. Y'all made excuses, I was making rest. Stop me like nice child, that's too bad. Boy, when I watch your mouth before I pop off in the campgrounds, nah. Days I wanna rest, no doubt, but I pop off in the campgrounds, nah.